great editing pow so welcome to my blog blog vlog and three weeks into my Melbourne stroke Australia year and I've got some news to tell and a story to share and basically about my job hunt so as you know, I've come to Australia to be a designer, a contract designer, like freelance, like work in different companies, different projects, and like have a good variety of things. And actually, because of the visa, you can't get a full-time job, so you have to like freelance there. So basically, the first two weeks I stayed in hostels, and after that I moved to this Airbnb, and I've been like contacting different people. So there was like four, four um, s like strategies I did to help me find work. So one was just telling my contacts in London that I'm leaving to go to Melbourne and there's people giving me their contacts. So yeah, like in my company telling them I'm leaving to go to Melbourne and that different people giving me their like friends or people they used to work with that are in Melbourne and just yeah people in London giving me their contacts so I've been going to for coffees with them I've been meeting them like everyone from just like friends to people that are actually like head of designs like big companies so I've been doing that I also reached out to recruiters so when I was in London I just like Google digital design um, recruitment agencies in Melbourne. Went to the websites, scrolled down to find the person who's like digital design and like emailed them or when I was here started to call them directly. I also applied for like in the job sites like they have Seek here, S-E-E-K, um, Indeed and some other sites. And then also another cool tactic that I've been doing is uh, speaking to uh, the companies directly so like I don't need a job like I do need a job I don't I'm not in a job at the moment I'm not like in London I'm in a new city so I've been introducing myself like to companies studios that I think are cool just been emailing their like info at or calling them up and saying who's the right person to send my portfolio to and I'd um, send my, and then I'd like just email them, not asking for a job, but just saying like, I'm new in town, I'd love to meet designers, see your studio, it looks really cool, I'm going to be contracting in the year and it'd be good to go for a coffee, and that's been really cool, I've met, um, that's been really nice, I've, like one company, I, they took me for coffee, I didn't even show them my portfolio, like we just went for coffee and then afterwards they were like, um, if you want to use our lap, our, our studio just to hang out and like use the Wi-Fi and stuff, you're more than welcome. Or you want to come with us for lunch and stuff. So that's that's been cool to like connect with designers and like just get my work in front of people without without it being like a big stress. And then the final most successful method was this Facebook group called Find a Freelancer. Um, and basically, companies post there saying, like, looking for a cameraman, looking for an art worker for three weeks or whatever it is. And a few people post their own stuff. So I posted my portfolio to the Facebook group. And I've got some um, people getting back, getting in touch with me directly through that. Um, and so time passed. I was actually, even though it was in the space of, like, two weeks or something, I was getting a bit nervous, like, I thought I'd have had a job in that time, um, I was meeting lots of people, but not actually, 
nothing was sticking as far as a, an actual, like, no offers. I mean, there was no, like, even interviews, there was no business. Like, people said that it's, some people were saying that it's quiet at this time of the year, like, just after Christmas. So, yeah, I was getting a bit nervous. But then two, two, two companies came back to me. One was this broadband company, which was really, really, like, straight, like, would have been great to just start like it wouldn't it wasn't super exciting but it was like it would have been a cool job very similar to what i've done in london and then i could have like uh from there find my place to rent and all that like because it was so it was solid basically and then also i had this like one on the facebook group the, the girl who contacted me was said to me oh would you be up for moving to sydney or working in sydney and i was like yeah, I'd definitely talk about it. I was thinking for something, maybe months in the future or something like that. But anyway, she arranged a Skype call with the Crick director. And I spoke to him and showed him my work and like got on really well. They, they were really interested in my art and creative side. So yeah, the, the vibe was good. You know, I like, saw the studio, it looked really cool, like technology plays. And he asked me, are you up for traveling? I was like, what do you mean traveling? And he was like, yeah, we need someone to go to Dubai, Abu Dhabi, for a week on Friday. No, no, he didn't tell me when it was, but when, you know, anyway, that was sounded really exciting. I was like, yeah, that sounds sick. Um, and then he got back to me on email saying, are you free from the 1st of March to 8th of March, which is basically next week. I was like, I guess so. Like, I haven't got anything booked, but um, this is like so out of my plan. And then he was like, then he was like, he, yeah, he, the next day he gave me the offer and he was like telling me, like I said, I need to think about it because my plan was to stay in Melbourne. And all of a sudden, like, he's saying to come to Sydney, come to Abu Dhabi. He said like, don't worry, like I was saying like, I don't know how to get to Sydney. I don't even know where I'm going to stay. He said, if that's what you're worried about, don't worry about that. Like you'll arrange for flights and accommodations when you get here. And so I had to think about that, I had to think about that. And at the same time, I got an offer by another big agency, like a, le like a kind of similar thing to the agency I was in London, like very good name on the CV. Like they wanted me to start, this was Friday, they wanted me to start on Monday. So if it wasn't for this whole Sydney, I mean, that situation, that, that agency job would have been perfect. It would have been exactly what I wanted, like starting Monday, immediate money, like it was like a six week, four week contract rolling onto more and with a, like a agency name that I, like, I knew that the brand was, everything was good. But the work was, and the work was like, as I expect, but this Sydney offer was like so unexpected. So like, they wanted me to be creative. The work, the challenge was, it was very challenging compared to just doing work and, um, this whole thing of flying me to Sydney, flying me to Abu Dhabi, um, was a great opportunity. I spoke to one of my friends, a designer in Sydney, from who I met in London, and we were saying like, yeah, not, you're not every day you're gonna get someone's gonna offer to do all that for you. So I took the job, oh, and I'm going to Sydney tomorrow. You're flying me tomorrow. Wow, and. So what was I going to say? So, yeah, I had to decide. I basically had the decision between um, the kind of expected route, which was going with the agency in Melbourne and, like, the work was very straightforward, or this unpredictable, exciting, scary route, which is Sydney and Abu Dhabi. Like, it's exciting, obviously. They're flying me to Abu Dhabi, flying me to Sydney. It's scary because it's not just come in and do some work, it's like, nah, look after this project, You're, we want your creativity to answer this problem and win our client over and everything like that. And it's like, unplanned, I don't know, I know nothing about Sydney, I know Bondi Beach, that's it, I've been getting my head into Melbourne and what the locations are and the neighbourhoods and the type of people and now I'm going to Sydney, I haven't got a clue. Um, so yeah fly tomorrow 
to Sydney, meet the company. And what's good though is like, rather than being freelance and going to different companies as I thought, this will be nice of like just settling into this studio full of young people and um, yeah, just ha walking into that vibe and going for lunch with them and going for drinks after work or asking them where's the good place to stay and stuff because right now the first two weeks i've been staying in hostels i've been staying with like some people that are like, like young and are just traveling whereas now in that situation i'll be around people of the same vibe that are working that are maybe from different countries that are that have been in sydney that know where to stay know what it is to like work and live in the city so like that will be that would be good for me to settle in and then, then i'll have to like I thought my next video would be showing you like, talking about finding a place to stay in Melbourne, but now it's going to be finding a place to stay in Sydney. And I don't know like that, how long I'm going to stay for. I, they want me to kind of stay there full time. That wasn't my plan, but I'm open to like, who knows, three months down the line, I'm like, this is amazing. This is, I don't want to leave or whatever, you know, and then I'll go for it or I might want to go traveling or I might want to like I feel I've got unfinished business in Melbourne like this is the place that I came to to work as a designer so it would be good and then yeah I had to cancel I missed one meeting today that like, I'm been networking making contacts going for coffees with people and now it's like whoop all, all, like there's no need for all those coffees because I'm not even going to be here. But you now it's been good. I've met loads of cool people and um, interesting studios. Like, love seeing a different type of studios and companies I've met. And yeah, that's it. I'll let you know how Sydney goes. And I'll leave you with some music. <laughs>